uh, afternoon on the railway import stocks. They're in focus as the G20 summit saw the launch of the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, which aims for a stronger trade ties and energy flow from the Gulf to Europe via railways and ports linked to India. But Meribun, before we get your views in on this entire you know news piece, uh, let me get in Vivek to fill us in on the details and the developments. Vivek. Well, absolutely right. You know, railway stocks, sports stocks, you know, absolutely flying in the session. Uh, this positive sentiment news flow that's come in as far as, you know, the upcoming uh, India, Middle East, Europe economic corridor is concerned is what is actually keeping the stocks quite active. But let's have a look at, you know, what exactly are the announcements and how exactly do the Indian companies stand to benefit from such a development. Number one, you know, the PM has gone ahead and announced a multinational rail and shipping project. This is to link India with Middle East as well as Europe. And, you know, the countries actually are many. So India, UAE, Saudi Arabia, European Union, France, Italy, Germany, as well as US are all of the, you know, countries that are actually involved in this particular project. So looking at the proposed corridor, it will come comprise of two separate corridors. Number one is the Eastern Corridor and the other one is the Northern Corridor. The Eastern Corridor will connect India to the Arabian Gulf and the Northern Corridor will connect Saudi Ar the Arabian Gulf to Europe. So, you know, what is the involvement of Indian companies? And, you know, that is something at this point of time we are still seeking clarity. But there's one very important statement that we need to keep an eye out for. Mr. Aish uh, Ashwini Vaishnav, you know, India's Union Minister for Railways, says that number one, IMEC will reduce the goods transit time between India and Europe. And what he is saying is that Indian companies will both execute as well as provide technology for this particular project. So which are the stocks in focus? All of the railway stocks, so RVNL, Ircon, Rights, uh, IRFC, Railtel, even ports and infrastocks in names like LNT with exposure in the Middle East, uh, Container Corporation. But at this point of time, you know, we need to be mindful of the fact that quite a lot of details are still pending. Number one, you know, timelines of further announcements, granular details of each nation's participation and in terms of especially funding and CAPEX requirements, role of individual companies that are especially the listed ones and extent of role if any Indian companies there, whether it's just an execution partner, whether it's a project management consultant or, you know, whether they actually are the tech partner as well. And lastly, you know, the actual size of the order wins and, you know, when do they actually manage to go ahead and execute it? Absolutely, Vivek. Got that. I think it's your uh, caution is uh, well taken and it's good to put that out because we need a lot of the specifics, uh, especially given the fact that these stocks have rallied 150%, 180%, in some cases 200% already this year. So I think that that's uh, you know, good to put that caveat out there. Thanks very much. But as I said, this has become a, perhaps a market in these cases, at least in railways, where it's a buy now, think later uh, sort of uh, euphoria that's playing out. Let's uh, take the conversation.